Hello, everybody. <laughs> Wow, well, did you like those pictures? Those taken after the workout. Um, just to show you James's progress, he's putting on some muscle, he's getting some progress, he's putting on some muscle, he's looking like a little beast. <laughs> uh, so this is part three. This is like near the end of the workout now. Uh, we're getting there now, aren't we, James? We're getting there. My dog, James, Digby's just pissed all over the house, man. Literally. I went to make myself a cup of coffee, I thought I'd go make this next video and do the voiceover. And boy, has this took some work. This has took some raw work. This, this man, loads of voiceovers. Took some hours, this has, James. But it was worth it, mate. It was worth it. At least they got to see it. You got to see a full training session this time, YouTube, because the last time I've trained with James, my batteries run out. This time you got to see a full training session. And bear in mind, this was just biceps and triceps. So I train James like this all the time. Do you know what I mean? Right. Now, back onto triceps. Bit of a double whammy. So tricep extension above your head, yeah? With a weight. I'm gonna show him how to put his hands on. Uh, look, watch everyone. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, because I can't see all of my camera because of the recording bar. But watch and see if you can see. Basically, you put it flat on your hands, you put your, your thumbs on the top and your fingers underneath on the two holes and then lift it straight above your head. And then it's in a perfect position for you to do these. Go on, James, lad. You're doing well, son. Go on. Push it. Push, push, push. I'm bloody starving, but I'm not going to eat. Yeah, because I have eaten quite a lot today, but I'm just starving. But I'm not going to eat. I'm going to get up in the morning, do some fasted bloody... Well, I'm going to work, actually, so I'll be doing some fasted cardio. I'm at work tomorrow. More slabbing, more slabbing. It's always good cardio slabbing. <laughs> Especially when you're humping wheelbarrows around and smashing shit out. Go on, James, lad. Come on. Now, this is just torture to the arms. I mean, you can imagine, after all we've done, arms are kind of tired now. So this is just torture to the arms, this. Um... And obviously, this is not necessarily what I would do, but this is this is my training regime for James. Yeah, this is James's training regime. Obviously, as his triceps and biceps get bigger, he'll add more weight and he'll do different kind of exercises. But for now, yeah, right. This is just this is just basically for James. All right. So now we're going to do five. Throw it to throw it to each other. Basically, work as a team, mate. Like we're in a fucking chain gang. And we're throwing rocks around, yeah? Like we're in a chain gang, James. I'm just going to throw them rocks around, mate. <laughs> Imagine that we're on the pyramids of Giza, James. And we've got to get loads of work done, mate. We've got to lay a pyramid in a day. <laughs> You're wondering what I'm doing, but I'm wrong, Miss Bliff. It's obviously you wondering what I can, you can hear in background there, mate. Last voiceover for me of the night, and I'm going to get in the back, and I'm going to bed. So I've got to be up in the morning for bloody work, and it's late as shit. It's probably half 11, nearly 12 o'clock now. It's probably more closer to 12 o'clock now. And I've still got to get in the bath and get to fucking bed, man. So, yeah, it's going to be a late one. Making this bloody footage for all you like. I hope you're grateful, everybody. I stayed up late to do this for thee. Just think, James, you've got these training sessions on film. So when you go into the gym with your mates, you'll be able to put them through these grueling hard sessions, mate. You want to be a beast? Aye, I'll turn thee into a beast. Aye, I bloody will, lad. <laughs> mm. 
I thought James was going to do a little dance then. I honestly thought he was going to do a little dance then, James. <laughs> Some good tunes on in the gym, all the James. Some right banging tunes in the gym, man. Come on, lad. Come on, lad. Keep pooping, keep pooping. <laughs> you've done me proud, I tell you now, James. You've done me bloody proud, and you've done yourself proud as well. You got to see a whole workout today, Deb. He works hard, doesn't he? He definitely works hard. But you can see from the muscle he's putting on and how fit he's getting. He's getting proper fit, everyone. You do not understand how fit he's getting. Do you know actual like cardio fitness? He's getting stronger, but his cardio fitness has gone through the roof, man. Do you know what I mean? He's getting proper fit, man. He can get for like a long time, do you know what I mean? Before he's like, you know, like out of breath. Yeah, obviously when we're doing weights and stuff, his body gets tired through the weights. But I swear to God, man, he's got some cardio level, this boy. We're not sure who's fitter, every James, me or thee. I think we're gonna have to go on a run soon, bro, and find out. <laughs> go on, James. So no gloves, soft bag. Everybody's always ripping the piss. Why are you using a soft bag in that? Because I've got no fucking gloves on. And especially like on the TikTok video where I'm on this bag, I'm training Luke in it and Luke had just come out of jail and he hadn't been punching for a long time. Do you know what I mean? So I, I, I'm not gonna take the, I'm not gonna take people with no gloves on and no wraps on, on a fucking heavy bag to hit with no gloves on and no wraps. I'm not gonna do it. Do you know what I mean? So basically, I just want James to be hooking, yeah? I want him to be delivering, like, I want him to be blocking and throwing a right hook. I want him to bring his arm high to block whilst he right hooks, yeah? Right? And then I want him to be throwing, basically, jabs and straights, all right? Jabs and straights. I want him to be throwing them jabs and straights constantly, one after the other. Hooks with the left, I want him to dip under and hook. Right, I want him to block with the left and throw a right hook. Yeah, and then with the uh, left hand and right hand straight and left. I mean, one, two, bang, bang, one, two, bang, bang. Yeah, for like three minutes. This is not so much about technique, everyone. This is more about me burning his engine out now. Yeah, this is more about me like making him. See, right, here we go. See, he's just hurt his thumb. Right, so this is, he didn't know this, so he's being taught now. I'm teaching him how to fold the thumb around so that it doesn't hurt. To fold your fingers in first, tight, then the thumb goes. And it goes right there, so it's tucked behind your knuckles. Yeah, and you always want to hit with the lead two knuckles, if possible. You, realistically, you always want to hit with them lead two knuckles. And that thumb has to stay behind the knuckles. And you have to clench it tight, because if you don't, you're going to hurt yourself. Especially if you catch it slightly wrong when you're punching. So James just learned a lesson there, but he didn't hit it hard enough to actually hurt himself. He'll hurt for a split second, but he'll be all right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like obviously he's learned now. Look, he's keeping his hands tight. Do you know what I mean? He'll never make that mistake again. I doubt it anyway. Loads of people make that mistake when you first start punching. Um, he's learned quick, so he won't make it again. He'll be all right now. Now, if you look, obviously I want him to keep his guard up, yeah? I want him to keep his guard up. I don't want him to get into bad habits. So I am stopping him. I'm saying certain things to him and that. 
But because it is a training regime, this, this is not boxing practice necessarily, not at the end. This is to wear your body out. So I don't want to stop him too much because I want to keep his heart rate up. Yeah. So all I'm doing is basically I'm just showing him like how he's, he's hitting the bag wrong when he's hooking. Yeah. Right. So you can hit two ways. You can hit like that with your lead two knuckles when you hook. Or you can hit like that. It's entirely up to you. But they are the only two ways you can hit with a hook. You can't hit no other way, trust me. You can't hit no other way, okay? So it's got to be bang, like that, yeah? That's how you got to hit with a hook. Bang. And no, obviously, I'm not even hitting the bag. Do you know what I mean, by the way, everybody? I'm not there for that. I'm, try I'm trying to teach James here. So it's not really about me, this video. It's more about our James. Yes, I have described some of the stuff we're doing because it's also a training video for all of you. But this, obviously, is James's session. So I'm more interested in teaching James than obviously teaching myself. I do myself all the time. I just want him to be now... I want him to be knackering himself out. When at the end of the workout, I want him to be, like, taking himself, you know past the level of, you know, being absolutely done in now. Um, and like I've always said to everybody, man, cardio is basically as important as the weights. If you've got no cardio, you ain't going to be able to train for a long time. It's that simple. If you've got no cardio, when it gets hard in the set and you can't get your breath in, you won't be able to get the breath in to carry on. If you've got no cardio, when you get out of breath, your recovery time to get your breath back will take so long that your muscle will be cold by the time you're doing the next exercise. With me, I get my breath back within five to 10 seconds and I'm ready to go again. That's because I've got good cardio. Now, come on, James. James has got really good cardio. Trust me, he's got banging cardio. He's got cardio like a fucking beast, mate. This kid here could fight in the shield wall for eight fucking hours on a cup of tea and a digestive biscuit, mate. <laughs> Isn't it, James? Especially if he knew my fucking Viking meatballs were going to be after, mate. He'd go through 500 men to get to them Viking meatballs, wouldn't you, James? He fucking loves it, mate. He fucking loves it. Go on, son. Give it some. Fucking give it some. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's told you you're a cunt. <laughs> He's done in now, look at him. <laughs> Good lad. Good lad, well done. We ain't finished yet, by the way, mate. Or did you think there was less thing? Nah. Let's to neck him out, and then we come over here and we fuck him up, mate. We make him fucking realise what day it is, mate. So this is a hammer curl to a curl. Yeah, hammer curl to a normal curl. And basically we're just going to go to like failure. Come on, James. Done bloody well this workout, lad. You really, really did. When I got back off holiday and you and your mum come round my house, mate, you're going to need that fucking Viking carbonara, mate. Because I'm telling you now, the next session is going to be an absolute ripper. Prepare thyself for war, James. It's going to be a battle on the senses, mate. Every part of your body is going to be screaming for you to stop. But we're not going to stop, James. No, no, no. We're going to climb that mountain. We are going to work harder. So now I'm saying we're doing slow reps. Slow, Joe. Slow, Joe. Well done, James. You know it. You know this is killing him, and he just keeps going like a tank. He just absolutely keeps going like a bloody tank.
He's going to go far, you know, Deb. Trust me, Deb, he's going to go far. I'd expect James to be very successful when he gets older, I think. He's got the willpower, do you know what I mean? Which is, you can't really, you know, it's it's something that's hard to to get, you know what I mean? With somebody, it's, willpower's a hard thing, man. But James has the willpower to succeed, doesn't he, James? Aye, aye, lad. Aye, he does, aye. <laughs> On to the next thing. Right, so now, so James at this point, right, has reached a point where his forearm, so his grip is just done. Yeah, so right, what, rather than do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do reverse curls for my forearm, and then James has to do the same amount with the same weight, normal curls. Yeah, mate. Oh, mate, this hurt him, this did. <laughs> I can't remember how many I did, do you know what I mean? But I made him do the same amount. I think I might have done 30 maybe or something. Even Danny G's arms are getting tired here, mate. You can tell, look, they're getting bloody tired, mate. My forearms especially. I mean, James wouldn't have been able to do this, trust me, because forearms now, after everything we've done, you should, the grip is... Oof. I'm going to get him arm wrestling with me soon. Um, yanking on my arm and that, it's very very good. Um, I'll get him. I'll let him get me in a pronated position and a supinated position, and all sorts. Do you know what I mean I'll do the same to him without putting too much pressure on? Obviously, it won't be an arm wrestle. It'll be for a boy. It'll be part of the bicep workout, um, and I'll I'll film it and I'll let you all see. This is a very good thing to do for your forearms. Not about trying to arm wrestle with each. You are arm wrestling with each other. You'll see what I mean. So James got to the same amount of reps. And who oh, did this burn, mate? He loved this afterwards, didn't you, James? He fucking loved this afterwards, lad. <laughs> I'm going to message you in the morning and see how you're feeling, because I ain't messaged you today. I've been busy, James, all day, mate. Usually I'd message you and see how you was feeling, wouldn't I? I'll message you in the morning. I've been busy doing TikTok videos. Instagram shout-outs for people all fucking day. These people love paying me for these Instagram shout-outs, I'm telling you. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I'm just doing, I'm doing Instagram shout-outs constantly. I'm working, I'm doing TikTok videos, and I'm doing freaking YouTube videos. Rammers, mate. Rammers. Plus, I'm training myself, like, all the time. Come on, James. <laughs> Uh, yes, lad, come on. He's like, I can't do it. I'm like, yeah, you can. You can. What do you mean you can't fucking do it? You can't fucking do it. Do it, do it. <laughs> I sent him a voice message. I went to the gym with his mate the other day and I sent him a voice message growling at him down the phone. So I said, if it gets hard, just listen to that. And he did, he listened to it. And then he said, Danny, there's an old man in the gym and when I turned your voice message on, he looked all freaked out. Like, <laughs> come on, James. Come on, finish strong. Finish like a beast, mate. Come on. Come on. Come on, James. Come on. <laughs> That's willpower for you, baby. That's fucking willpower for you there, boy. That's willpower for you there, boy. That's fucking willpower for you there, boy. <laughs> he's knackered. He's dying, but he's still laughing. Fair play, James. You know what I mean? Fair fucking play, lad. It was a good workout, that. It was a good bloody workout, wasn't it, mate? Aye. You're feeling pumped up now, mate. Right, finish the session. You fucking enjoy that, mate? Yeah. How you feeling? You feeling like a Spartan? You feeling like a fucking Viking berserker? Yeah. You feeling like you could take on the fucking world, mate? Yeah? You yeah. fucking enjoy that, mate? It's nice and quiet in here. <laughs> <laughs> Till the next session, from me and James. We're making him ready for the shield wall. I reckon he's just about ready, though. Whispering. Do you know why I'm whispering? I fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> Safe kid up. Catch you later, everybody. Give him a big peace out, mate. Go give him a big peace out, mate. Peace, peace fucking out, out mate. Peace. Peace. Good. Peace.
Peace. Good peace. Yeah. Yeah. Peace out. 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 Peace out.